I just got to Yesteryear Antique Center in Hanover. Uh, my last stop in Gettysburg, I actually left empty handed, which doesn't usually happen. So hopefully I have better luck here. I'm still looking for that special something for my Etsy shop. Look at those fantastic hula girl dolls. That one's 29. I actually just really like the little storybook one. Hmm, $19.30. I might leave a couple bucks actually. Not sure if it's uh, something I'm interested in today. I've had a lot of um, hula dolls like that. I'm kind of into everything that's happening here. <laughs> that's a hobbyist piece. It's definitely different. I like her opera glasses. These are kind of neat. I've never seen the lobster ones. Usually you see them with like mushrooms or vegetables. And the cute little lamb planter. Oh! It's got some significant paint loss, but the price is definitely right. I've just had a few things like that recently. What is going on here? These are ceramic flowers in... Well, that is very cool. The ceramic flowers themselves are neat enough. And then, um, in this flower frog. Huh. Portugal. $9 and then 30%. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get that. I'm not sure if I'm gonna sell them together or separate. But, either way, they're very cool. Whoa. Look at this penguin. Mexican folk art penguin, rare, so cool. It is so cool. It's not something I would normally pick up, but uh, I'm really interested in it. It only comes to like $17, so I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and pick that up. Oh my gosh, it's got a bluebird and a butterfly on the back. Yeah, this thing's pretty neat. Okay, but also that wall art trinket dish. I feel like I've had something. Ellen Williams. Wow, that is very unique. I am gonna pick that up too. Oh look, and there's more of those ceramic flowers. What is what does that say? Set of seven, $22. Those are really cool. Um, I'm definitely gonna go ahead and pick up that lady face though, and then what's up with the gobel heart here? They always have such great salt and pepper shakers here. Um, I'm seeing a lot of sets I've had before, including the monkeys. This is really fun. Uh, it's kind of hard to find them not repaired. I'm impressed by that. Although those are about what I got from mine after fees. Let's see what else they got in here. It looks like a lot has uh, been changed since I was here last. The owls are kind of fun, $4. Those are definitely Japan too just not marked. It's a really good price. I think I have some owls that I have not sold yet, though. I'm really tempted to set, um, get this set, but oil and vinegar do not sell well for me, so I don't want to invest $12 in that, even though I really like the, the print on that. And then they got the little bird cuckoo clock wall pocket. It's missing its uh, chain there. This one's kind of cool. I don't think I've seen that one before. It's only four dollars. It's kind of different. I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. I don't know where I was going with that. Um, it's not exactly what I thought it was. A lot of different looking stuff. I've been trying to, I've been switching it up a lot recently. I'm kind of into it. That's kind of pretty. This is a really pretty pattern too, even though it's not my normal thing. 25% too, that's not bad. What's going on with these ducks? <laughs> How fun are those? Eight dollars, salt and pepper. The little flower hats, those are fun. I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab those. We love a good flower hat. I feel like I've picked up this vase before, but it caught my attention again. Yeah, I have picked that up. That is really pretty. 
I'm kind of into these vases too. I think it's just because I really like the color. Ooh, this is a really pretty vase. I love that satin finish. And uh, of course, this, this is exactly what I thought it was. <laughs> How cool is that? It's, the, it's an ashtray set with them, a cigarette lighter. And then I see this vase hiding in there. Gosh, that's so pretty. 36, that's a really good buy for a collector. I've made it to my quintessential holiday booth and I couldn't resist uh, stopping to check out these Italy dogs. Now, I don't usually, I'm usually more a fan of the ones made in Japan, but I really like the polka dots on that. And here's that Inesco set. This is, um, I've had this set before. Three dollars, what? That's so cheap. I kind of feel like I should get them on principle. Yeah, I think I will for three bucks. Now, um, they also have the Christmas bell ones. These are kind of neat. And they're only three dollars. This is kind of a harder set to find in, uh, this good condition. Oh my gosh, they've even got the feather. These are also made in Japan. Those are kind of cool. I think I'm going to go ahead and grab these as well. Switch it up a little. And then um, this is missing its little stove. These are kind of weird. What is happening here? Made in the Philippines. They're like ring holders or something, I think. I could be mistaken. I, I'm not a big fan of the Christmas bells. I've had those before as well this is really pretty but i don't think i could get much more out of that this vase is kind of interesting to me as well it's only eight dollars i think it's pretty cool it's very different than what i would normally pick up but since it's only eight bucks i think i'm gonna take a chance on it should i no it's an almost. It's an almost for me. So much fun stuff here. I love the elf on the mushroom. But I was actually going for the Norcrest June Dog. $27. That's definitely retail on that. Um, and of course, I love the uh, watermelon set. Look at how pretty that is. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I know, I know. But it's all priced right at retail. This is what has my attention. Oh my gosh. Is this... Uh, I've never seen this one before. $26, that's probably about retail on that. And squeaks haven't been doing that well for me. I used to sell them for uh, crazy money, but they've kind of died down. Gosh, I love Bohemian Glass. I think it's so pretty. Another thing that surprisingly doesn't have much luck for me though. Um, Look at that reverse painted cat. That is so fantastic. I wish I could justify that, but it's too close. I'm also really obsessed with the Arnart Cuckoo Clock wall pocket, but $30 is about what I get for those after fees, unfortunately. Dang. It's painful to walk away from. Some really great little knickerbocker chick rattle. That one's a larger size than I usually see. And of course, these are newer. Um, that bisque material, they're still vintage, but they're not my favorite. And they're priced a little high for resale. I've, I've bought those in the past. They didn't do that well for me. These are gorgeous, so $19. I feel like that's pretty fair. Oh my gosh, look at this. $12. That's about what I'd get for that after fees. There's so much fantastic stuff in this booth, I tell you. Okay, but also look at these little pink bunny rabbits. <laughs> They're three dollars each, so what they're supposed to have is a larger one that's got spaghetti trim, and uh, these are supposed to be on the chain. So this isn't something I usually pick up, but how freaking cool are these? Those are really well priced too. It's really hard to find stuff like that in such good condition. <laughs> I kind of love this, even though it's uh, definitely newer. That's fun. I love the cat on that. Oh my gosh, look at what's happening over here. 
how fantastic. Oh my gosh, $2.50? That's fantastic. It's a little left in leprechaun. And you usually see them in this with the matte bisque instead of just the ceramic with the glaze. I'm definitely gonna get that. That's a great deal. And you know what? I've been bashing on this bisque material, but for $2 each, oh my gosh, it's even got the shamrock. These sell really well. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, grab those, especially because I only pick them up around St. Patrick's Day usually. I mean, if it was $2 at another time, I wouldn't argue with that either, but it is around St. Patrick's Day, so we have to get these. I love the ice cream cone salt and pepper shakers. $14 is, uh, even with 20% off, is a really good price for a collector, but it's a little close for me, um, especially because of, you know what though? I will say, as many times as I've had that set, it usually sells pretty quickly. Let's see what's going on over here. We got the Otajiri. Is that what I was thinking of? $12. What is this? Counterpoint, Japan. 15, no, $12 minus 15%. It's definitely a totally fair price, but a little bit more than I'd like to spend on that. This one's pretty fun. Look at this funny pig. How cute. I love its polka dots. I wonder how well that would sell. These have been kind of hit or miss for me, honestly. Well, I can already tell you it's a little too much for me for resale, but I was just admiring some of the really fantastic costume jewelry this booth has. I love the uh, sweater clip, and I'm also really into this. This little miniature trinket box. That is so neat. Oh my gosh, look at this left end cat planter. So cute. And it's only $10 and 20% off for eight bucks. I am grabbing that. I've never even seen this version of it. That is adorable. Oh my gosh, look at this poodle. <laughs> How fantastic. Oh, I love the fact that it's got eyelashes. That is really great. I haven't had much luck with a lot of these. However, the fact that it's in such great condition and, um, it's in such great condition. Let me see how much that would come to. So it comes to like $14 and 50 cents. I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up and uh, hope for the best. I hope we don't regret it. Cause like I said, a lot of these I've bought have um, sat around, but this one's really unique. Oh my gosh, look at these little freaking cats. How fun are they? Pair of big eye cats, $9 and 50 cents. I'm gonna grab these too. This is, this is a, uh, getting a little out of hand here well of course i just looked at the time and realized that this is going to have to be my last stop of the day i got too late a start oh my gosh the pink elephant bank oh, i don't want to get a key i'm gonna have to come back anyway because i'm not gonna have time to go to black rose which is really upsetting but it's okay and i'll just come back another day um let's see if we uh can fill this so <laughs> manage to fill this basket in the next couple minutes okay, let me not get too crazy all right settle down settle down i actually am going to drop some of this stuff off because the basket is already a little full this is very cool 12 dollars. it's not marked though that makes me a little nervous yeah i can't believe i'm running out of time i didn't didn't think that was gonna happen so quick I guess that's how it happens though all right let's see i love the little choir boy but i've had stuff like that recently this booth always has such unique things and great prices like i like the little lacquered box too look at how strange those are i have to see what those are all right Mirrored Bird Thailand, $4.95. Very cool. It's got a little bit of damage on it. Then they got the donkey. What about the little monkey? Okay, but what's going on with this cat situation here? A lot of them are on the newer side, but it's definitely a mixed lot. $10, is there a discount in this booth? Not that that's not reasonable. Um, nine, Ralpo. 
This one's a left in one too. This one's only $7.50. It's really reasonable. I feel like somebody wanted this one. I had one and it sold really quick. So I th think I'm gonna go ahead and get it. I kind of like this vase too. Japan, that's unexpected. Oh, but wait, look at the vanity mirror. Compact mirror. Oh, it's got damage. Dang, I was gonna say. This was uh, usually priced pretty reasonably. I gotta put my camera down to see how bad the damage is. The mirror inside is too damaged for me to feel comfortable with for resale. What's going on down here? Good grief. Oh, let's see if we can even get down here. What is this face? That's kind of different. Japan, $12. Uh, that's nice. I don't think I could sell that for too much more than that, though. After fees, at least. I have to know what this little lamb planter is hiding in here. Oh my gosh, how stinking cute is that? It's even got the giraffe. It's like the rocking horse style, except uh, a lamb for $7. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. No, I'm really into this color. This style. $15, that's definitely retail on that. What is happening here? <laughs> I kind of love that someone has put rhinestones in their eyes. $10 for two. Kind of fun. I don't think they have much resale value though. Look at that. I'm kind of nervous to reach in here. How much is that? It says chip, $190. Yep. Oyster plates are always expensive. I don't know why I thought that was going to be some exception. Is that a recipe box I see hiding down here? It is. It's uh, a little faded. But how much is it? $4. Well, for $4, I'm not upset it's faded and 20% off. Yeah, that's really cool. I just... um. Won't sell it for as much as the, the last one sold for. It's a really cool pattern. I have unfortunately run out of time, but for some reason, I had to stop and look at this box. $40, I think that's fantastic. I would love that on my vanity. Um, but I don't have time for this today, so let me check out. I'll see you guys outside. So it's been $110 there. I am running out the door. I can't believe how late I am. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to come back because I didn't even get time, uh, have the time to go to Black Rose, but that's okay. I will see you guys tonight for the haul since this was a little chaotic. Guess we'll have to come back.